Wow. Howdy, folks. Man, it looks like we got something off of, yeah, something left over from Star Wars here. <laughs> these are really popular, and a lot of people are picking them up for themselves. Once they see these things work just once, they got to have them. And there's two stories here today. It'll be, of course, this product. And also, we're going to talk a little bit about Banggood, because it's another place to go shopping on the internet where you can find some good deals on a lot of different things. The difference is with Banggood is it's a, one of those ones that has flash sales. And the flash sale sometimes you can save a lot of money and get products that you are looking for whether it be a 3d printer or in this case <laughs> a jumper for a car this is a foreign one so we'll check all this out yeah you me let's let's get into it yeah now uh yeah banquet sent us this over uh, we will have a link in the description below where you can find this uh product at banggood but i invite you to go check out banggood for yourself they have a lot of different products, uh, electric bikes and 3D printers, like I said, and uh, tools, power tools, that kind of thing. Lots of cool stuff and flash sales, which will, a lot of times it can save you. A, a, if you're going to you know, buy something in that range and you find it there, there's probably a good chance you're going to get your best, you know, your best dollar on it. And a lot of stuff uh, comes through from Amazon from Banggood. So, you know, again, I always like that because, it's, you know, you can save a little bit of money or time, you have it right away. and. If you don't like it, you can send it back. Uh, now, let's get the box open. All right, there we go. So, wow, okay. It's, this is something that's a foreign one, so I guess we need to cover that right away because, oh man, there we go, I got it out of the box. Beautiful box. <laughs> yeah. Now, when they say foreign one, what it is, is it's not just a car, an auto jumper, you know. Uh, it's also an air compressor that will fill a tire up if you have a flat on the car and you need some air or you're low on air pressure. Uh, it also has the power bank on it, which will charge your phone or run your laptop, you know, or anything that's USB kind of thing, you know, iPad, <laughs> you know. Also, it has the LED flashlight uh, built into it. So that's why it's four in one. So here's the package. It comes in a nice box again. And this is something, once you charge it up fully, you can put this in the back of the car somewhere and just feel a little bit better, especially on those long drives in the spring, summertime, which is what we're getting into now. If you need a road trip, something like that, and you gotta go out of town or something, just having this with you can really save you a lot of hassles. Or if your wife has to go somewhere, you know, your daughter, your son, whatever, a lot of times in the back of the car, it's really, really good to have something like this for a backup because you can just take care of the problem right there on the road, you know, or, well, wherever you are, at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. It's got a nice carrying strap. Again, this thing looks like, I tell you, it looks like some kind of science fiction part of it. <laughs> wow. And we've got LED readout. We've also got uh, on and off switch here. Okay, cool. And uh, batteries, wow, just about full. And I've got the product upside down because, you know, I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's now, how is it pronounced? Well, I'm going to go with uh, Forsen. And that's how it looks. Yep, Forsen. So we're going to go with that. Now, it has all kinds of features. Plus, in the box here, we have our jumpers uh, to jump the battery on the car. But we also have uh, charging ports and stuff like that. And I want to run something here, so I'm just going to show you this real quick. There's your, yeah, again, good length, and I like the, I like what they did here. Do you see that? Yeah. If you're familiar with jumping car batteries, how many times have you had the red and the black the same length and they, you know, smack together? Uh, this one here, two different lengths a little bit, so they don't, you know, connect and make sparks and may cause a fire <laughs> in, on the car. <laughs> And again, we've got a little door here we can open up. So we've got a little door here. Okay, so we've got a little door here to open up. And once we plug this in, it'll probably come on, I think. Maybe not. Okay, it goes just go into jump mode. Yeah, it does. It starts flashing the red and black light. Start showing that you're getting ready to jump. Now, we will we'll jump the Jeep or something today with it. But that's, as a car jumper, that's one. But it also comes with a nice little set of gizmos here. There's your charging port there with your USB uh, C to you to regular old style or common USB A. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got a bunch of accessories uh, for the uh, air so you can fill different things up, and also we should have uh, 
hopefully we have something oh, okay and the rest of this is where is the rest oh here we are <laughs> i'm looking for it it's on the machine right here at the back of it and it's got a really nice one too so we'll pull that out and have a look at it this is your airline yep there it is see and it's got the little lock on it so you can put that on the valve stem lock it on and uh, crank the machine up to set the air pressure this means i have to go let air out of a tire again to, oh yeah probably and of course when you're putting it away let's see how well it does with that and i think we're going to get this one actually okay wow okay it all went back in the back of the uh, unit so that's good there's your light wow that's going to be pretty uh yeah Let's see if we have a button for the light here. Let's see. That's the battery. Uh, let's see. Sometimes if you hold the switch, it'll fly. There it is. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. And it's a, yep, it's a bright light. And you can probably also do the, uh, let's see if we can get the, what is it, the strobe effect going? Maybe. Nope. No strobe. Okay, so don't worry about the strobe. Now, when you push the button, the very first thing at the top over here is the battery level. Well, that's kind of cool. You also have some small buttons down here to control the compressor with, so you can see how much air pressure, and you can set the air pressure, fill a tire up to this much. Wow, okay, now, uh, I'm gonna just jump over here, see if I can, this is a, one of those little rubber door flaps that's, there we go, and there's your, okay, you got USB, USB and USB-C and you also have this which again I, I see this a lot with a lot of folks and uh, maybe comment below if you have something uh, sticking a cigarette lighter plug together on one of these I have never had anything that uses these but apparently they they're useful for well whatever I guess if you had um, I don't know some kind of charging system that has a has that kind of port on it you could now we're also going to have to talk about some numbers here, of course, which we will. The foursome, what kind of, you know, how much power are we talking about? So let's find out. One of the very first things we'll do right now is charge this thing fully up. And I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, show you this product, even though, yeah, it's a really interesting product. But uh, right now we're charging from here to here and we're charging this up. I'm charging off a, uh, a solar generator, basically. And the reason I'm doing it is so I can read this. And it's showing 17, 18 watts of power going in. So we just, just so we know how much power this thing's gonna use to charge itself up. Okay, while we're waiting to fully charge, uh, the rating on this is gas and or diesel engines up to eight liter in size can be jumped. Yeah, to start from a dead, from a dead battery. Uh, the problem with dead battery is, uh, yeah, you, me, I'm not quite so sure what they mean by dead, but I'm thinking, yeah, you should have a little bit of, uh, you know, in that battery, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's talk about the compressor has a decompress and compressor uh, values on here, so you can actually set it. So if the tire is too high, you could theoretically let a little bit of air pressure down or something to level out or something. It's just, a, uh, the whole thing here is just a really handy package. Uh, I know a young fella, not that long ago, got a hold of one of these. And he said he hadn't had it, I don't think, a week, and came up on a woman who could not get her car started and offered her a jump. And of course, she thought he was playing magician when he pulled this little box out with a couple of cables and said, she says, that little thing's gonna start my car. And so, yes, ma'am, it will. And it did, uh, she was pretty impressed. I don't think he got a date or anything out of it, but eh, whatever. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to go there, yeah. The next thing we gotta do, I guess, is uh, let's do the, uh, do the Jeep and then we'll do the tire pressure and we'll just talk a little bit more about some of the different selection of fine products that you can get great deals on at Banggoods. Oh yes, banggood.com, that's what this is about, but also it's about product and in this case, this uh, this foursome, which is a pretty cool, it's just, a, it's just something that everybody seems to have these days and, and you kind of need them with what we got for cars these days too, yeah. Well, it's that time again, we're gonna give the Jeep a jump and see what we'll See if it'll start. I'm sure it will. We're here at the dead Jeep zone. If I turn the key of the Jeep right now, you're gonna you won't even hear a click. Yeah, it's that bad. So, and we're gonna connect the batteries. Let's see, ground. One. And there we go. And the hot. Oh. 
And there's an alarm going off. We're going to turn this on and start it up. And let's see how the Jeep does. Pretty interesting. You know. <laughs> One of the nice things here is this is all built in, so my airline is already here. I've got all everything. Well, I've actually turned it on, which I probably shouldn't have done just that, but we're running it right now, and we're gonna get the cap off and bring this tire up to 36 pounds. And let's see if we can't get that clamped up on. Yep, lock it. So it's got a good handle. Now it's showing 33 pounds right now, and I want 36. It's flashing. Let's see if it would. Let's see what it. Oh, turn it on. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was a little fast, but that was, uh, that's just brought it up to 36 pounds, so good enough, so we're, oops, we're happy with that. Now, it'll shut itself off, right now the cooling fan's running, so this thing will shut itself down as it, uh, once it's happy again with me. <laughs> it's a little warm from jumping the Jeep and now filling up a tire. Yeah, a little bit of work there. Now, put this compressor thing away, back in the back here like it was before like that and there you have this nice package and hopefully it'll shut down shortly actually I wonder if you can shut the compressor off individually probably can let's see if I hold the button yeah there it is compressors off the battery just showing that it's full but the system is off and that's off so yep she's all shut down now and ready to go back on the charger so she's fully charged when she's ready to go in case we need air or jump yeah Okay, that uh, tire was at 33 pounds and boosted back up to 36, which, you know, at 29, the car alarm goes off. But <laughs> it filled the tire up really quickly, if you notice. It was like, for a little compressor, that did a pretty amazing job. And it's good enough for, like, say, a roadside emergency or something. <laughs> yes. Or if you don't have a car and you have a bicycle, you need to fill the tires up. You it's a little, really nice little compressor that charges on a USB. There's a lot of cool things there that, you know, if you think about it. So who's it for? Everybody, you know, everybody and anybody. I have to highly recommend, you know, a jumper with a compressor for a car these days. It's like, it's just, it's just a gotta have it, you know. Uh, I'm really impressed with the product. It's very good. I don't have exact numbers as far as, uh, you know, 800 mil amps going through or 500 amps or you can weld with it or something. I don't have those kind of numbers from uh, Foursome, but that's okay. It's still a good product. It does, this tri it does what it has to do and it'll get you out of a bind or a fix. And in one case, uh, I'll tell you a secret between you and me. Uh, a couple of years ago, the battery was dead on my tractor, and I really did not want to spend that. You know, they're $150 or something these days for little John Deere tractors. So I uh, went through a whole season just carrying one of these with me at the tractor. Just jump it, start the tractor up, cut grass, put the tractor away. Next time I came back and do the same thing over and over again. Went through a whole, actually two cutting seasons, which is virtually two years in Texas. Yeah, with just one of those. So it sort of saved me the $150 for a couple years until I finally decided to break down. I so, said, you know what, let's, let's go get it. Uh, you know, let's go bite the bullet. Found a good deal on a battery for the tractor and was able to uh, probably still save about $100 on the battery deal. So I did find a deal on one, it took me two years. And so in a strange way, it sort of like paid for itself just with that, you know, let alone the fact that I have the convenience that, you know, if somebody needs to jump or something, uh, I've, I've got that right there. If my tires get low and the alarm goes off, and God knows you do not want to drive a car with that beep, 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 beep thing going on because the tire is too low on the air pressure. Yeah, that that's 
Sure. Annoying. Yes, very annoying. So anyway, uh, that's a great product from our friends at Banggood. And again, right now, I'll just show you the website at Banggood. There's the entrance to it, but notice a lot of the stuff, they'll have these flash sales and they're they're the real deal you know and a lot of times you can get a great deal from them or if you buy through amazon a lot of times you'll find bang good stuff on there that's like you know great deals they are the real deal and they have good product and hopefully they will always support the idea of having good product i do like that well it's monday guys girls thank you for watching coffee and tools please like share subscribe ring the notice bell and i'm out of here and wow over and out Ooh.